Morning guys, uh, George here again, or Mr Sage however you know me. Um, those of you that I teach, you'll probably know me as Mr Sage, you now know my first name, which is George, which is going to be interesting when we all come back. Okay, hope you're having a good time. Um, I hope nothing is too much at home in terms of not having much to do. Um, I'm hoping that a lot of these activities that we're putting together are at least going to give you, parents, an hour's respite, um, perhaps half an hour to an hour's respite. Um, or you know, you, you guys that are, that are watching me that are doing these activities, I hope you're having good fun with them. Um, and that each day brings with it a new challenge and you're sort of keeping active and things at home as well as best as you can. So today what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna do a bit of a circuit, okay? You can set circuits up in your home or outside. Now, I know we've got a lot of equipment here at school. What I try to do is use things that you're likely to have at home, okay? And this is what we're gonna do today. So if you can remember back from the previous video, Okay, where we've had our clock face, okay, with our bucket in the middle. All right, so that's here. That's one of my circuit stations. So if you can remember back that video, great. If not, I'm gonna go through it again now, okay? So what you can do for your first station, have an item in the center, such as a bucket or a tin, like I've got, okay? And basically what we did is we had a few items about five yards out from the center, one at 12 o'clock, one at quarter past, one at half past behind me, one at quarter two, okay? And all we do for a complete set is we run out, pick our item up at 12, pick it up, put it back in the tin, run backwards to that one, okay? Quarter pass, you're sidestepping, picking your item up, back to the center, drop it in. The one behind you is half pass, you run back, pick that item up, run forward again, back in, and then quarter two, pick the item up, back to the center, drop it in, Okay, that's halfway through that circuit, that one circuit, okay? What you need to do is run back out and put all the items back out in the place they were before. So I'd start with 12 again, so pick the item up, out to 12, drop it down, back again, next one, quarter pass, half pass, okay, and the final item at quarter two. Okay, so that's one circuit, so that's one of our stations which is gonna make up our circuit, okay? Excuse me. Um, the next thing we've got, okay, I'm just using cards, so these are just some cards. You've probably got a lot left over from Christmas, okay? Pop them down. So what I've used here, so I've tried to sort of do this in the area or space you might have, in say like a living room or a bedroom, for instance, okay? Or if you're outside in a small garden, okay? So I put these cards down, there's one here in front of me, and every two, three steps, I've got another. So I've got four cards laid out in front of me here. So this is what we're going to do. You're going to run the first one, touch it and run back. Touch the first one again, out to the second, touch it and run back. And then the third, touch and run back. Okay, and then you've got another two either side of you, okay? So once you've touched this one, it's whichever, whichever one you want to go to first, it's up to you. You can go out to the right, touch it back to the centre, touch the centre, out to the left. And then back into the center again, okay? And you can repeat that as many times as you like, okay? So that's one set. You can do as many sets as you like with that, depending on how much you enjoyed it, okay? The next thing is, if you've got some stairs at home, or if you haven't got stairs, any kind of step will be great. I'm using a bench because that's just what I've got here. You're probably not going to have this at home. But what you are like to have is a step or anything where you can put your hands down behind you, okay? And do dips. Like this. So again, depending on the age group, you can do just five, or you can do as many as you like, really, depending on how many you think you can do. Okay, again, challenge yourself. If you think you can do five easily, then make that challenge to do ten. Okay, if you're struggling with ten, okay, keep going, trying to get to that ten. All right. The next thing you can do, using the same step, if you've got stairs or a bucket or whatever, okay, you can do step ups and step downs. Again, you can do this as many times as you like. So the great thing with these circuits, guys, you can adapt it depending on the age of the child that is doing it, okay, and also how long you want it to go for. So if you feel like, you know, you're doing all right, um, but you're not really sort of, you're not exhausted, okay, so the idea of this is afterwards, you want to be physically tired, you want to keep going until you really don't feel that you can do any more, okay, that's what you're going to get the most reward from, is by physically exerting yourself, okay, making sure you're tired at the end of it. Okay, so again, you can do this as many times as you want. So rather than just doing lots and lots and lots of dips, you can perhaps say do 10, then two step-ups, 
Okay, and then you can go back doing our bucket challenge again in the center, okay? Or the cards, where you run out to each card and touch it back. So mix it up, have fun, okay? Um, I hope that's quite a good lesson you want to do at home, okay? Try not to annoy your parents too much, obviously make sure you're doing it around the times where they're not working, if they are working from home, okay? But um, it's another good one that you can do with the whole family, okay? So parents, carers, uh, older or younger siblings can get involved as well. All you will have to do is just adjust how long you spend at each station, and perhaps how far away our items are from our buckets and things like that for our card challenge and stuff, uh, depending on the age group of the child. Okay, but hopefully um, that's a really good one that you can do at home. Uh, again, you can do it inside or outside, um, and you can use any objects you want. These haven't got to be what I've used today, um, they can be whatever you've got at home. Okay, so thanks for watching. Um, hope you enjoyed it, and again, let's keep going, guys, and um, hopefully see you again soon. Many thanks, bye.